Those roving eyes are looking for the next deadly fight. Meet the strongest fist fighter on the planet, the mantis shrimp. With a force of 73 kilograms, this lethal crustacean's punch can rip human fingers to the bone. But it's not the only killer on the reef. Its close cousin and similarly violent crustacean, the pistol shrimp, fires its bubble gun and makes a sound so loud it can kill small marine animals. So if it came to a deciding match between these murderous cousins, who would win? I honestly don't know. Which contender has the better weapon? Which has the better defense? What secret advantages does each of these shrimps have? Are you on the edge of your seat yet? Here's a blow-by-blow -blow account of this rumble in the reef. Let them fight. The mantis shrimp is equipped with a club-like front leg that can deliver punches at speeds of 23 meters per second. That's as fast as a 22 caliber bullet slicing through the air. The punch is so powerful, it can smash open mollusk and crab shells and dismember the shellfish. The shockwave accompanying this deadly punch doubles its impact and makes the surrounding water as hot as the sun. The pistol shrimp brings a gun bigger than its body to this fistfight. The pincers on the pistol shrimp's gun claw rip through the water at 100 kilometers per hour, and they fit into each other like a garlic press. This produces a superheated water jet that makes the surrounding water four times hotter than molten lava. But that's not what kills the pistol shrimp's prey. The water jet carries a bubble that bursts and creates a noise that is so loud it can stun or kill other creatures. During World War II, trigger-happy colonies of pistol shrimps were loud enough to mess up the U.S. Navy's interpretation of sonar signals. Light, sound, and fury to match. But who's got the size advantage? The pistol shrimp ranges from 3 to 5 centimeters long and weighs about 25 grams. But at 18 centimeters long, mantis shrimps are among the larger shrimp varieties. They weigh 0.6 kilograms. That's as much as a basketball. So the mantis shrimp would have a clear size advantage over the puny pistol shrimp, like a heavyweight boxer taking on a flyweight. But the pistol shrimp has a clever accomplice who helps it aim and add years to its life. The goby fish makes its home in holes that the pistol shrimp blasts into rocks. In return, the fish warns the shrimp of approaching dangers. On the other hand, the mantis shrimp is a territorial loner that could be easy for the pistol shrimp goby tag team to gang up on. Unless they do battle with a spear and a smasher mantis. You heard that right. There are two kinds of mantis shrimps. The smashers wield the power punches. The spears nag and stab with sharp barbed tips on their front legs. Stabbing is about four times slower than punching, but all that weaponry could be a bit too much for the agile goby fish and its pistol-swinging friend. The reason why the pistol shrimp needs a friendly fish as a lookout reveals another fatal drawback. This crazy critter is shooting blind. The pistol shrimp needs to stay in physical contact with the goby so the fish can guide it. And though their team coordination must be pretty impressive, they would be in trouble when facing the mantis shrimp's infrared vision. The mantis shrimp has two protruding eyes that operate independently of each other. They enjoy a broad field of vision with excellent depth perception, and they see many more colors than we do. They can even see some kinds of cancer cells. And as if this super trooper needs another advantage, the mantis shrimp has a unique armor. Coils of chitin fiber on its shell act as a shock absorber and protect it from sudden impacts. So while our gun-toting little pistol shrimp could put up a fierce fight, it's likely no match for the mantis shrimp's size, armor, and incredible vision. It's a good thing that mantis and pistol shrimps are not known to acknowledge, let alone pick fights with each other. But how does this palm-sized mantis oh shrimp God. power its knockout punches? We've got the answer in another episode of Crazy Creatures. Firing superheated jets of water and launching finger-splitting punches is what these shrimps do. And that's why they're crazy creatures.